Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to V1 Kids News. I'm Lucas. And I'm Lily. Let's see what happened at our church in our weekend report. Awesome. My favorite part was when we got to pray for the other kids and then Pastor Chad got pied in the face. Ooh. Yeah, I really liked when we got to worship and when Chad got pied. If you missed, Pastor Chad gave us a prayer challenge for the week. Don't forget to pray every day, kids. We got some stuff starting up that you don't want to miss, like Royal Rangers and Girls Ministry. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. You guys can sign up at church or online. All right, well, let's get straight into fearlessness. Thank you, Lucas and Lily. So today we'll be talking about being fearless. Being fearless is a lack of fear. So in other words, being brave. God's word says to be strong and courageous. Why have a fear when God's with you? Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Blake. That's so true. We can be brave with God on our side. Hey, Lucas, you want to hear fu some funny fears? What? There is macrophobia, the fear of long waits. I got one. How about amathophobia, the fear of dust? Or chromophobia, the fear of colors? Or my favorite is hip. Hippopotamus, or however you say it. This, it's a fear of long words. Look it up, people. These are real fears. Did you know there is an alleromophobia, the fear of cats? What? I know, right? How can anyone be afraid of cats? They're so cute. So cute. Now let's take it over to craft time with Mel and Maddie. Hi, my name is Melanie. Hi, my name is Melanie. Today we're making slime. So these are the things we're going to need. We need glue. We're going to need water. We're going to need some baking soda. Some shaving cream and contact lotion. So first we're gonna pour it into the glue. Okay. 
wait. Uh, are you okay over there? I tried to make some slime, but it didn't turn out too good. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll be right back. That's better. Now, let's go over to our fearless friend, Blake, to see what challenge he has. What's going on guys? Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we have Blake and he is going to stick his hands inside this box right next to us. Uh, he'll have 30 seconds to try and guess what it is. Blake, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Here is item number one. Okay, Blake. <laughs> it's a ball with string or something on it. That is correct. Well, all right. Well, here is item number two. Okay, boy. Is item number three. Okay, boy. Carport? the crawfish. Yeah, I really liked when he was freaked out by the jello. Now it's time to answer questions from around the country. Today's question comes from Ron in South Carolina. His question is, how do we face our fears? Hey, Pastor Chad, can you help us out with this one? Well, wow, that's a great question, Roland. I'm really glad I can help you answer that. As a matter of fact, how do we face our fears? Well, if we look to the Bible in Joshua 1, 9, the Bible tells us this. It says, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Mm, be very strong, be very courageous, right? Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Man, that is a great promise, right? Because if we can walk out of fear, not into it, we can trust God that he will carry us through it. That way, when you and I face these different um, challenges in life and fear comes our way, we know we have a God that we can be strong and courageous in. I hope that helps you out today. So remember the next time you're feeling or you're facing fear, look to God. God is the one that makes us strong and courageous. He will direct you, he will help you, he will strengthen you through that. See you guys next time.
Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, little ding -a to get notified when your videos go live. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.